It's Gatsby's birthday! But it's actually mine. Gatsby, happy birthday! Today, my sister and I are gonna bake Gatsby a birthday cake, but it's actually for me. First off, we need to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. What we're gonna do is we're gonna make one portion for us and then Gatsby's is gonna be like in a little cupcake. We have our room temperature butter over here. It's like so room temperature. Okay. What do you think, Gatsby? So you need one and a half cups of flour, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder, and a half teaspoon of salt. And now we whisk. So next, in a large bowl, beat together six tablespoons of butter. Next, you're supposed to usually add sugar and beat it together, but since Gatsby cannot have sugar, we are going to just do it itself, and we'll add sugar later on when we mix the rest of the ingredients. One egg, wow. half a cup of milk, and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Next, we're gonna gradually add the dry mixture in. Your turn. I'm back. <laughs> so now, we're gonna take out a little bit for Gatsby so that we can Add some sugar for ourselves later. There we go. There you go, Gatsby. That's yours. Now for the human portion, one cup of sugar. <laughs> <laughs> it's becoming I think dope. we should just mix it, fold it in. One pound of strawberries. And then place them face down. <laughs> There's Gatsby's. Ooh. And I'll make the strawberries taste like extra sweet. Bake for 10 minutes. And then after that, we're gonna reduce it to 325 for 55 minutes. Ooh! It looks pretty good. Is it my birthday time? We're gonna dust it off with some powdered sugar on the top for the human portion. That actually turned out really nice. I'm gonna turn 26 years old. <laughs> I wish I was turning 26. Happy birthday, dear Gatsby, yeah. but it's actually Ryan. Happy birthday to you! Blow out the candles! Yay! That's these mini cupcake. You suck. It's your strawberry cake. He's like, oh my gosh, it's so yummy. Happy birthday, Gatsby! <laughs> Ooh, vanilla Swiss almond. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> the cake part's not very sweet. The strawberry on top is like super sweet, so it helps balance it out. It's pretty good. That was really easy to make that cake, so I'll put the link in the description below to that strawberry summer cake. Gatsby, did you enjoy your birthday cake? Bye. There's still a full day of birthday celebrations coming up. Let's start the vlog. Good morning, birthday boy. <laughs> we are going on our walk. Here's my impression of Gatsby's walk. Doing his walk. Is that how you walk? Alexa, like that. Happy birthday, Gatsby. And happy birthday, Ryan. You will be receiving some gifts later today. Oh. Have a wonderful day. <gasps> this happy birthday from Sean's Secrets. Castle in the Sky and Kiki's Delivery Service. Ooh, this is one of my favorite ones, Kiki's Delivery Service. If you haven't seen it, it's so good. Best one to watch. And then Castle in the Sky is so good too. Thanks, Sean. <laughs> the movies. It's like, where's my present? We're gonna open some gifts as well from fans. Nadine from Woodbridge, Virginia. Because it's your birthday, right, Maxby? Ooh, pepperoni style dog treats. <laughs> He's like, yes, can we have some? Mmm. It's a finger puppet. From the set lifts from Fort Mill, South Carolina. Ah, look at that. Tracy from Sunnyvale, California. It's a giant donut for pet use only. Okay, okay. Go! Yay! Ah. Thanks everybody for sending us gifts. 
Oh, and thanks for all the birthday wishes, you guys. For breakfast today, we're gonna make a Japanese fruit sando, which is like a fruit sandwich. <laughs> I have some thick white bread. And this is Japanese style bread, so it's kind of like a milky bread. So a lot of the times you can find these fruit sandwich at like Japanese convenience stores, like 7-Eleven. Okay, so next we're going to do the cream that goes inside of the sandwich. Heavy cream, and I have the bowl here that's been refrigerating, so we gotta do this quickly. One cup of heavy cream. And now it's pretty bubbly, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add three teaspoons of sugar. Okay, I think it's pretty stiff. We did it! See, it's basically standing up. So we're gonna take our bread. You want thick cut bread here. So we're using some saran wrap here. You want to design everything because we're gonna cut it on an angle. The cream, put it on like that. I never see them use star fruit, so I'm just gonna put one like that. And then for the sides, you can just do whatever you want. This is gonna be like the hugest thick cut bread. So mark it. So then you know which way to cut. We put this in the refrigerator. Okay, let's do another one. And then in the center. It's a castle. Okay, okay there we go. Hello, Gatsby. He's all tired. It's been like two hours or so. Usually you want to wait at least one hour. Let's try it out. Let's see. You can save that for something else. Okay, here it goes. Mmm. It tastes like dessert. The bread is so soft. It was not super sweet. It was just sweetened from the fruit and a little bit of the cream. I'm glad I had that. You guys should try it too. I'll put a link in the description below to the recipe that I got from Just One Cookbook. Now we have these to eat. It's good too. The bread is just good. Jesby, should we go fly a kite? Should we go? Okay, let's go. Fly a kite. He doesn't even know where we're going. He's like, I see the kites. I see them. Okay, okay, let's go. It's kind of overcast, but we're at Fort Funston right now. It's so windy. Was so cold. He's happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and by the way, I wanted to give you guys an update on the Spreadshirt shop. As I had mentioned before, uh, for the month of June, 100% of all of the profits were going to the Legal Defense Fund. And thanks to you guys, we were able to donate $1,365. Thank you so much to everybody who was able to donate. If you would like to donate to the Legal Defense Fund, make sure to check out the link in the description below. I got this new thing I saw. Coral Reef Energy Coral Nutrition AB Plus and it's just like a formula that you stick in and it looks green like it looks like some kind of like toxic waste. The coral love it and also they like are supposed to get more colorful and stuff. The donut coral over here, it was kind of getting smaller and smaller so that's why I decided to start feeding it. So you can either do it that way, or you can actually spot feed the coral. You have to dilute it or else it's too strong. Just kind of squirt it at the mouth. <laughs> so most coral are photosynthetic. This is like extra stuff that you can add and the coral like it. You can see the mouth is open enough. He's like, I want some more of that food. We'll see what happens if this does anything. Right now, all I notice is that definitely this coral's a lot happier. He reached the top of the water. Oh. 
By the way, I do have some news on some restocks of the merchandise. This Gatsby fruit puzzle over here will be restocked in August, along with a new puzzle, which I just got the prototype for so I can work on it. Probably not today, but in a future vlog. Here, it's another 1,000 piece puzzle, and here's the picture reveal. Ta-da! Gatsby and his girlfriend, Tenby, sharing watermelon. Other than that though, I thought I would give you guys an update on the Japanese Corgi tie-dye t-shirts. They did so well, you guys went crazy for them. They look really nice too. I, me and my sister are wearing them in today's vlog. I know a lot of people did miss out on getting it and I did say that they are gonna be super limited quantities and they really are, but the factory that I get the tie-dye t-shirts from, they were closing off the production. However, I was able to get one more order in, so I was able to reorder all the shirts before they ended the, um, the printing of this. So, we're gonna have one more restock of these Japanese Corgi t-shirts, and they're gonna also come in youth sizes and in a few tank tops as well. Make sure you are checking out CorgiOnFleek.com if you wanna get one and you missed your opportunity. This is my present that I got from my sister. Let's see what it is. There's a box inside of a box. Look at that. Whoa. Thank you. It's your big day! <laughs> We're driving over right now to the Asian market to grab our ingredients for dinner. We're gonna make hot pot. She's wearing the Corgi on Fleet t-shirt. <laughs> this one's the biggest one. Just grab something like this size. We're preparing the ingredients. Even though we've been eating all day, I'm hungry. Here's our setup for our hot pot. We have over here some ramen noodles. We have the hot pot with kombu inside, which is kind of like a seaweed. This is what my sister cut up over here. This oh. one's wagyu. Okay. This is Angus beef, and then this is like a regular chef. We're gonna have our hot pot. The water is boiling. It's time for us to eat. Happy birthday! Yeah, happy birthday, Gatsby! Happy birthday, Brian! <laughs> Thank you! Gatsby, watch out. Be careful now, okay? I will feed you your food. It's so thin that it cooks in like a few seconds. So Japanese hot pot is called shabu shabu, and that is literally the sound. Onomatopoeia. It's an onomatopoeia for the sound of swish swish. You just take it, put it inside. Who's gonna get the first one? You. Okay, look, it looks super good. Mmm. The sauce is really good. Thank you. Gatsby's is done too. We'll put it in his bowl, but he has to wait. That's good. And now, is it Gatsby's turn? He's like, yes. I'm using Gatsby's bowl and chopsticks. Okay, last piece for right now. Okay, good boy. He's like, oh my gosh. I need some food inside. Okay, we got the vegetables in. Way softer and more flavorful. This one's really good. Okay. Was it good? Yeah? Was it good? It's like it's but it's my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Vegetables. Done. You gotta wait 
beef gets a little bit hot. It's Wagyu beef. Like, oh my gosh, that was so yummy. You always end with noodles. So this is after we've cooked everything in the hot pot. It kind of like flavored the broth. So we add the noodles in. Mm. Time for some cake. It's a lot better with ice cream. I would give it an eight out of 10. Okay, well that's gonna do it for us for Gatsby's birthday and my birthday. Thank you so much you guys for watching. Thanks for all the birthday wishes and all the gifts. I wanna thank also my sister for helping me celebrate my birthday, throwing all the stuff, baking the cake and the hot pot it was good. Okay. Oh, and if you want to get some Corgi on Fleek merch, don't forget to go to CorgiOnFleek.com. See you guys in the next vlog. Good night! Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan! Welcome to today's vlog. We are going to be making